anything guys just on way to auction house now I'm gonna have a little look around see what's there there is a beautiful clock that we're gonna have a look at if I can get it for the right price it's worth it's worth a lot of money to be fair I'm gonna check it out um, it's a French mantle clock um, bronze um, with a dome on top glass dome on top obviously I don't know age and that I've not I've only seen it on video but it's worth a few bob um, a lot of stamps there there's quite a bit of gear there this week so I'm gonna have a look through um, I'll give you an update when we get there yeah we just got to auction house if you're a new viewer welcome um, I'm a reseller of coins banknotes jewelry collectibles out under that area that type of thing but yeah we're just having a little look round now having a look at what's on selection for tomorrow and then we're going to get back get some bids on and get some stuff bought plenty of stamps and plenty of albums if they come cheap they come at right price i take them but they didn't help much that really jumped out at me to be fair there was some older stuff early stuff but that was towards front a lot of it were modern and stuff but world world stuff a bit of russian stuff in there a few bits a bit of german stuff i might be interested in but no victorian no early stuff It's always worth checking because like before I've opened up folders like this and found banknotes in in top good quality grade so always worth looking out for. I'm just looking through them albums, looking through them boxes, looking through everything at the auction house because you never know what you're going to find. Now here we are, this is the stuff. Some classic old Warhammer. I didn't see prices on them, but my brothers just said, did you see old prices on them? Apparently it's 12 99 That shows you how old these are. No Warhammer's 12 99 nowadays. And this, that Man of War, sealed, you could be fetching 600 pound. I've seen them asking and selling for daft money like that. So if these come at right price, I'll definitely be taking them. But there were a little bit of damage on that corner. So <laughs> you've got to knock a little bit off of that. But it was still sealed. But the Ultramarines, guys, fully beautiful, nicely wrapped, in good condition. So hopefully, guys, these are going to hammer cheap. There's everything in this auction houses. And I don't know, guys, I might be wrong, but I think this is one of the best auction houses in the country. Sorry. You get stuff at a good price here. Unbelievably cheap. A good place to go and get your stock. Yeah, there's a big box of uh, Playmobil as well. Like, you know how expensive that Playmobil is. It's a big box. There's loads of figures in there. Just need a little wipe up. Can get a good return on things like that. White Dwarf magazines as well. Again, Warhammer stuff, it's hot. If I had millions of pounds, I'd just buy it all. But we aren't. We're always on a budget. But get ready for these radios coming up soon, guys. These are some big money. Hopefully we can get a few of these. And that clock, this is why it's important to check and go and have a look at things in auction house. It's a right Frankenstein of a monster, this clock. It looks beautiful, but when we had a look closer, there's a few creepy details. Yeah, it were a French mantle clock um, with glass dome. 
could have been a reproduction or could have been an early one, but yeah, wait till I had a look at it. I got it down off its shelf. Are you doing all right? You up? Did you come up with your shoe? Yeah. Are these solid, these spoons? Can I have a look at them? I right, just looking at these ones. Yeah, let me, can I have a look at them? Is that all right? On the other ones as well? No, yeah, why not? He said he wanted to take a picture of this. The marks. I didn't know what the B was, that was all. They're quite nice, though, aren't they? That's okay, yeah, if you carry on straight to the end. Yep. And then just turn left. The office is in there, and Lisa will sort you out. Lovely, Thank you. Um, what are they, 1937? 1837. There's a couple more of them, but single ones here, look. So I don't know whether. Nicer in box, aren't they? Right, mm. then, uh, I don't want to take it nah, the, these ones weren't as good, but again, if I can get them oh at a fair God, price, they'll call right on store for a few smalls. But the other two in that original yeah, box, they had a nice patina on them, good colour to them, fully all marked, readable all marked, so brilliant pieces. Yeah, they were beautiful, fully engraved, like I say, fully all marked, and 67 gram. So even at scrapping, they'd be a good price at scrapping. But definitely you don't scrap things like this. Absolutely beautiful. And in a nice box, a bonus. There's a few bits in though, isn't there, this week? Mm. These radios, man. These are... Yeah, these are some really interesting lots this week. There's a lot of radio equipment, signal distresses, telephones. A lot of old systems used for radio equipment, possibly Navy. But yeah, they make sailors or sails. Um, it's like the Rolls Royce radio equipment, like top brand. Hello. I've seen some of these alone selling for 1,700 quid upwards. Some of them are 5,000 pound. There's a lot on these tables, so I'm just gonna go around, show you what there is. There's some, there's a box of valves as well later on, and I'm gonna show you them. and. They're selling for 50, 60 pounds just for a, a, a valve in a box. So definitely worth every penny of these guys. Let's just see what they go for tomorrow under the hammer. Don't profess to be an expert about radios or any equipment like this. So yeah, it's just one of them that I know they're worth money as soon as I've seen them. Look at condition. And you won't believe the lady who owned them were gonna actually take them to tip or give them to scrap man. Can you believe it? Got my eye on a few. As you can see, there's loads of it. And from the top, guys, there's even boxes under the table. There's all sorts. I don't even know what there is here. But yeah, like I say, is the woman going to take it all to tip and get rid of it? They said the granddad had been collecting it for years, and now he's died. But this is the thing that I keep getting at. If you don't get kids into it, you don't get the younger generations into it, it does go to tip, it does go to landfills, and these collections go to waste, and it's a shame. Honestly, guys, just have a research these online, have a look, see what they're going for. Absolute madness.
But yeah, guys, honestly, look. Bulbs. I don't really know too much about these radios, but there's one thing. I know that they're hot and there's a lot of them in here, so if I can get some of these boxes, just for these people, pay good money for bulbs. But yeah, there's a lot of equipment here, guys. A lot. Boxes and boxes. I wish I had more money. I'd have bought them all if I could. But let's see what they go for. Let's see what we can do tomorrow, guys. Yeah. Yeah, so there are a few pieces for the mammoths, which would be like assisting pieces or whatnot. But yeah, if it comes at the right price, might be a nice little box. This one's good. like that you can get that at right price as well guys a lot of stamps here but there's not too much in it not really my area but you might be able to find a good few ones in if i can get them at right price there's quite a few in there oh look at that that's a beautiful clock. Obviously, could do with a bit more gold leafing, but you can actually get gold leaf and do it yourself. I've been watching about it. It's still not as it seems. Wait till we get it down. What a monster. And it's definitely a homebrew. Someone's definitely been messing with it. But check this out in a minute. Well, it's actually gorgeous. Two seconds of wonder reproduction. It's a reproduction. Edward, it's cheap. I still buy it. It's under 50. There's that piece missing now, isn't there? What's it say on the back? It's not even heavy though, is it sure it's gill? No. Is it wood? That's, that's wood, the base. Yeah, the base is wood, isn't it? I think somebody stuck it on. Yeah, you can't really see. You might be able to see better when you, we take the dome off. But yeah, someone's got some horrible cheap wood and stuck it on. So I don't know if it's it, come off it, at some I point and someone's out. tried to... I don't know what's going on, but top would have been broken off as well. So it needed re-gilding, re-soldering, past our expertise. Now. And I'd have had to pay someone a lot of money yeah, to do it. If it comes at the right price, yeah. I do know someone that does clocks, does watches, does so all things like that. And they do yeah. know how to fix things up. And I've got someone that might be able to put me a nice wooden base on it and... Or wooden bottom on it so i might be able to do something with it but i can't believe it because it looked all right online as well somebody's done this about two weeks ago i know i don't like how they've painted it like that yeah i reckon it's had a back on it it's going to come off bottoms it's smashed off the back because somebody's like home build it put it on and that's gonna <sighs> be nice so uh, what it was too good to be true it was too good to be true like, isn't it? Somebody's tried gluing that on. <laughs> if it's cheap, it might be worth to pass it on, spares or repairs or something. But, no. Oh. Shame, isn't it? Absolute shame. Well, yeah, there's plenty of stuff in here this week, guys. Plenty of stuff. Let's have a look. That's how it was that. That's how it The mechanism still might be worth something though. Like James, watch that fucking gas. Right, that? right, mechanism, right? That wood's got an hole in somebody's cut it, but it's not even level. And then they've sprayed the wood gold. Oh, That's yeah. just. It's just... What I'm thinking is it might still be salvaged. You should take all this off and just sell it as a spare part. The like parts. Ambrose you know, yeah. or something. All I'm gonna do is look at that, and it just from front, fantastic. You look at back, it's like, yeah, you know I mean, it's a shame that top piece is coming off. Well. Probably on that. and that other piece. You can off. get gold gild as well. You can you, gild it. If you could take this off, I mean, what I might even think about doing it when I get home, I'll take this apart and just sell the piece. Just sell the. Just actual. sell the actual piece to somebody. Somebody might still want to do it. I'm wondering it. if it was never actually in there. No, I probably. It was just the. The clock, like you say. Yeah, some great good stuff. I do hope you're enjoying this content, guys. Remember to hit that like button, and if you're not a subscriber, get yourself subscribed.
But yeah, that war ammo looks hot tomorrow. Them radio systems, all that. I'm in for that. So hopefully we'll get a bit. But remember, we're on a budget. We've got to play safe. But we'll get some good ones. Yeah, it's definitely brass. Yeah, there were loads of stuff on this week. Absolutely crammed. They usually have a lot of stuff on, but this week there were loads. Zulu. I love this one, Zulu Dawn. Classic, classic. Yeah, like them Christmas decorations, Christmas bits and bobs. Going to start getting them now, so when we go to market towards Christmas, we'll be able to get rid of them. But yeah, look at all the tools. There's loads of stuff in here, guys. It's not all my type of stuff. I don't even know how to use half of these tools, but oh, yeah, mate, brilliant. Right. And it goes cheap, good, unbelievably mate, cheap. Nice day as well, nice bit of weather out there, so we can't complain. Yeah, no plans on you. That's it, mate. There's a bit of everything in this auction, guys. All sorts of stuff. Even barbed wire. Who'd think they'd need that? But it's here. Plenty of stuff in, there's too much stuff this week, isn't there? I agree with you, it's difficult to... You can't look, can you? Yeah, that's right, it's kind of seeing one foot three, isn't it? Yeah, there's a um, few banknotes in here, but again, cereal, not very good. Grade, not very good. But they come at the right price, the nice working stock just for stall, especially the one pound. Do really, really well with them, guys. The late 1950s PSB, but there we go. These spoons as well, guys. I'm gonna have a little look at these. There's a nice two ounce cookaburra. 
can be worth about 120 quid. I can probably get 80 to 120 quid for it. It's the right person. It's nice green. I'll have a little look at it in a minute. Nice, isn't it? Nice. Yeah, they're nice, aren't they? Mm. One, three, five, seven, where's that left gone? Fully all marked. They're, they're nice they're just to get to go on to the It's them ones as well, them two there, but they're not as good. Them, they're, they're better. 67 gram. 67 gram. Yeah, Edward in probably the case. Them as well. That bowl as well. Oh, shit, I'm shutting it down. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot in here, guys. Um, let's have a little look at them. Oh, yeah. So that. Blue ring killings. Safety goggles. Mm. Shame about that cotton, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. For Christmas or something like that. They say ten pound on them. They're not worth ten a wheel, but five. I don't think it's with that with them stings in the map, though. These this week, guys, are the main hot ones, man. Radio pieces. So, I do hope you like this content. Any questions, any comments, just get them down below. And remember to check back tomorrow, because we'll be in here at the auction. Thanks for watching. I'll speak to you soon.